Hey everybody, this is Geo Joe here today with a demo tutorial video on the AS Manager software. And for today's video, I would like to focus on how you can do a backup or of your AS Manager database, and then how you can import that backed up file into a new system. So doing a backup is a very good practice just to help preserve your data in case the PC that your AS Manager software is running on crashes and goes down or if you're just planning on migrating to a different PC in the future, then this video is really for you. Before I get into today's video, if you find the videos on this channel useful, please subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up. It really does help the exposure of these videos. So again, I'm going to be going over backing up your database and then how you can then import that database if you're migrating to a new PC. So the first thing you will want to do is on the AS Manager PC, you'll need to open up your Windows Explorer and go into your C drive. You're going to look for the access control folder, open it and go into AS Manager. And then you're going to scroll down and you're looking for a file that's called ASDB Manager. Right here is our file. So we double click on that. And it's going to bring up a window with our ASDB Manager right here and you'll see two options as manager database and path setting and then settings from source to as manager database we are interested in the top option right here so you're going to click this icon and where we are going to start is right here backup database so you can either manually back up your database or you can set up a schedule to where your database backs up say weekly or daily or whatever you would like. I'll show both of these options. So let's look at the manual option first. We can click on the icon here on the left and it brings up a screen here where you can choose what you would like to back up. There are two options, backup account profiles and then you can down here backup configurations, logs and user photos. So starting with backup account profiles, this is basically giving you the ability to back up your login information for AS Manager. So the ID and password that you have created to log into AS Manager. If you tick that, it has a default path that's already been checked, you can see here. But let's say for example, you would like to back it up to an external USB thumb drive. You can just navigate within Windows and point to where you would like that backed up file to go. So I'll hit OK and just use our default path. Right down here on the second section, by default it chooses config and logs for you. But if you'd like to also attach your pre-enrolled photos of your headshots of your users, this gives you the ability to back that up as well. Just tick that box. And again, we can just use the default path or we can choose where we want that to go. And once you press OK, you can see here it backs up and it gives you the message that the backup was successful. So you hit OK and then exit and your task is done. Very straightforward and simple. The next option here is schedule. This is a very good idea to enable this. Um, this, is be, this is being a proactive installer or being a proactive end user because this really prepares you for the worst. All right, um, if you go into here and hit enable, you now have the ability to choose every day, every week, every month, or you can customize say every seven days, every three days, however you wanna do that. By default, it's set up to do it at midnight. You can obviously change that here. You can change your path just like we did on the previous screen. And then you can choose what you want backed up. As you can see, config and logs are backed up by default, but let's say that we want to do photos and the accounts information that we did on the previous screen, you can do that as well. Now, this recycle count option, it's defaulted at 50. And basically what that means is it's going to save 50 separate backup files for you. All right, so if you did like a backup every week, you know, you'd have 50 and you'd have almost a whole year's worth of backup files right there. Now, once it reaches the 50th backup file, it's going to then just erase the oldest file and start writing over with your new files. As you can see, you can customize this anywhere from one to 999 recycled files. So you hit okay and that schedule would go into place. So let's say for example, that you have ran into the scenario where you're migrating to a new PC that you're going to put AS Manager on or the initial PC did crash and go down, so you do have to go to a new one. Now I'd like to show how you can actually take that backup file that you may be placed on a external USB thumb drive 
and then bring it into your new system and migrate all the data over. So we're going to come into the same place, the ASDB manager, and this time we're going to go into the recovery database option here. If, it, if you click on that, as you see, we have both categories that we had previously, Re restore account profiles. And so you would tick that and then you would navigate and find your account profiles backup folder. And you would click on the result and it would put it there. And then you would do the same thing down here. And you would of course want to choose your photos as well. Go in and find your backed up file and then hit okay. And it will go ahead and pull that information there if we hit okay. I'm not going to do it on this particular machine just because we utilize this in our office, but if you hit okay, you'll get a message that says success, and then you can log into your AS Manager. This has been a demo tutorial on how to back up your database within the AS Manager program, and then how to also restore a database onto a new PC. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.